<laughs> okay, hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday. Mm. <sighs> so I'm here today to light a fucking fire under anyone's ass <laughs> that needs it, including my own. I'm doing it to myself right now. I've been doing it all weekend. And let me tell you, it is not <laughs> always fun, which I'm sure most of you know. Um, it's not fun. You know, going in and digging into the <laughs> the dark abyss of the stuff that's keeping us from exploring our greatness and our juice and our power and our incredible ability to create life and just experiencing ourselves. That stuff, that muck, that shadow work, right? That all of the shit we don't want to look at. <laughs> Looking at it and going through it and exploring it and learning from it and sitting with it in just reverence to what it has to teach you and with compassion and patience is hard. It is not pretty. It is not pretty. And it's not something that you can just do and it's done. Well, maybe some people can, but it's something you can go, th go through in phases and go back to when you're ready to go back to. And you know what? The Actually, no, forget what I said. No, you're never ready in your head to do any of this. But you know when you're ready, when that your yourself, your true self starts literally calling your name. You start saying, hello, hey, 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 hey. And it manifests in a dream or many dreams. It manifests in physical symptoms. It manifests in people popping up in, in your life. It happens, you know, when you're at work or with somebody you love and suddenly all this stuff starts coming up. And you're just like, I don't know who I am anymore. I know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm here. Or suddenly I really want to do this thing out of what, how, who am I to do it? Who am I? Well, who are you not to is my question. Who are you not to dig into your juice? There is so much more to you that you could ever comprehend with your mind. So let us stop trying to use our minds to understand what we are and let us really dig into it. That juice needs to be explored from within. You need to sit with that, all of the darkness and recognize that the darkness is not bad. We again, create a belief system around what's good and what's bad. Darkness is not bad, it's just a shade. It's dark, you don't know what's there. It's a dungeon, it's a, it's a basement floor, I don't know what it is, but it's, this is the thing, it's not who you are. It's not what you are. It's not your essence. It's simply an area that's hiding parts of yourself from yourself. So it's like when you, you eat something that's not sitting well with you and you throw it up, that doesn't feel good at all. You do not enjoy the process of throwing stuff up that doesn't belong in your body, but your body knows what it's doing. It's keeping you safe. It's keeping you healthy. It's keeping you alive. So it's going to ask you, to go through the process of getting out of whatever it is that's causing you dissonance, physical dissonance inside. And you recognize and throwing up whatever is coming. I know this is really <laughs> like such a beautiful image, but really it is, it's that. It's not sexy. Going into the depths of what's been holding you back in your limiting beliefs, which is what I'm saying, like it's rotten food, is not sexy. It isn't. But you know what? It is worth it. It is so, it's the only thing that's worth it. It's going in and actually really truly understanding on a soul level, on a physiological level, on a womb level, on a heart level, on all levels, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, what you are. That's why you're given all these senses. And here's the thing, throwing up, I got a little sidetracked, throwing up, you recognize that the thing you're throwing up is not you. You know it's not you. So it's not scary. You're just going through it. It's not pleasant, but you know it's not you. N having it inside of your body and resisting the throwing up because, oh my God, what if I see something I don't like? That is really terrifying because you don't know what you're going to see, right? You don't know and you don't want to deal with it. It's not going to be pleasant. I'm not doing it. Yeah, so you better, better acknowledge that you're going to feel ill. You're going to feel out of place and it's going to manifest in whatever way it does. 
And we're all here on this planet, except for a few who are ascended masters. They just are enlightened and they don't need to go through the stuff because they went through it in past life, maybe. This is what you're here to do. It doesn't make you less than, it makes you more. <laughs> Being given a chance to do this work in this lifetime is a gift that your soul chose. You chose to do this work. And you know when it's time. When you, only you know this, when you know that staying where you are is just so much worse than the unknown of what might happen to you if you actually show up. If you actually show up and say, fuck, no, no, I am not pretending to be someone else anymore. I'm not playing by these rules. I'm not going to please some idea of myself that I, my old self created to keep me safe from what? No, and, and I'm going to do the work. I'm gonna sit with this and I'm gonna learn from this and I'm gonna go deep because I know that only I can. And I also know if I'm called, it's cause I'm called. And only you know that moment. And trust me when I say that this moment will keep repeating itself until you say yes. When your spirit comes for you and it says we're done, like you are no longer allowed to hide from joy and peace and a inner, like an inner and like almost, I want to say sexual, but yeah, like a physical experience of your own love. The union of you with you. You're no longer allowed to hide at one point. I mean, I, I've had dreams where I was, I felt like I was being strangled. And it, you know what it was? It was me not, not using my voice. I didn't know what using my voice meant <laughs> at that time. But that's what it is. And the only way for you to find out is to do it, to do the work, to make lots of mistakes, mistakes in the process, right? Make lots of choices that are not gonna lead you to the aha that you're looking for. To at one point, stop looking for the aha and surrender to the work. Surrender to the work. Start exploring the juice that you came here with. There is so much more to you. There is so much more to you. And don't you let anyone or anything make you feel that you have to wait for permission to do this, yeah, unpleasant, dirty, ugly work because it's not unpleasant or dirty or ugly when you are doing it from the place of love. When you recognize that the work will lead you to, to see, to see that everything you deemed to be not love actually is. You make the unconscious conscious. That is why it feels ugly and dirty and weird because you've never been here before <laughs> and it's odd and it's unpleasant in your body and it feels like you're gonna die maybe, you know, because you are, you are gonna die. Hello, you are gonna die. The part of you that is in the past is gonna die with love. She's gonna say, hey, I've done my part. I brought you here. That's the role of the ego. It is not to be destroyed or said, you know, it's not the, it's not evil. It's just not you. <laughs> and it's only there to teach you what you are. Not it, not fear, not doubt, not shame. So look into all of the things right now that are brewing inside of you. Choose one and get, get a grip on the fact that you can do the work. You're here to do the work, but you have to know why you're doing it. You have to know that you're worth it. And the only way to know that you're worth it is to sit with yourself in your body and ask yourself, really ask yourself, if I were to die tomorrow, would I be happy with who I am? Would I say that I, I showed up, I showed up and I was me and I was me, whatever that is. And I recognized what that is while I was showing up as being me. Does that make sense? You show up and you figure it out as you're showing up. It's not something you're gonna be, oh, picturing ahead of you in 10 years, I'm gonna be this thing. No, you have a, sure, have a vision. This is really important, goal setting, vision setting. I do this with everybody I work with. You have to know where you're going, of course. Know this though, it will change. It will beautifully, beautifully change because in becoming who you are, you will recognize your purpose is in the process of becoming who you are so that you can then really truly understand what the point of it all is, which is to live 
as who you are, whatever that looks like today. It's not what you were tomorrow or even 10 minutes ago or even a minute ago. There is so much more to you. There is so much more to you. So that part of you that's challenging you to go there, that's you. The part of you that's saying, no, 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 you're not ready. No, you shouldn't be. No, you can't ask. You can't receive. You're not allowed. That's not you. That is not you. That is not you. So in your womb, in your heart, in your throat, in your head, all of it, that, that voice that's like, I'm here. I love, I love so fiercely. You don't even know. That's you. Just go there. I'm going to fucking go there. Like I'm done screwing around with myself, right? And with, with the world. I do this with other people. I'm doing this with myself. But this is the work. The work becomes deeper and deeper. The more you go there, the more you're not allowed to go backwards. I'm not going to be here being like, let's create a morning routine, which is something I've done. And it's great. Morning routines are great. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be doing this work if I didn't have a really, really congruent to who I am and want to be, more morning routine. However, the only reason it's there is because I'm choosing that my happiness and joy and me being here as who I am is more important than anything else. Don't give a crap about anything else because I know that the only way I can serve this world is being that. And some people might not like it, might hate it, might reject it. And that's what my ego is most terrified of. And it's giving me all these images as it does for you that you will be rejected, that you will be killed. That, oh my God, all the past lives that we've had, all this baggage, and as women, don't even, I'll do a whole live on this, carrying in your system all of the children you lost, all of the lovers that went, and, you know, went in and out, all of the experiences that you completely disowned and dissociated with because you had to survive and protect yourself. And now you're judging yourself there instead of saying, hey, it happened. Let's look at it. Let's learn from it. But we're not there anymore. We're here. The reason you're here is because of that. That's a prologue. We are here. So what are we writing right now? What's the story? What's the movie? Who are you in this film? Are you in the producer's seat? Are you in the director's seat? Because you are. You are all of those things. You're literally source talking to source about itself in human form. So it's, it's not. <laughs> it's, <laughs> some people might not want that in this lifetime, and that's okay. That's not who I'm talking to. I do. I want that. I fucking want that. And it's juicy. It's, it's enjoyable. And the depths of pleasure and joy and freedom that you will discover in yourself without anyone having to give it to you in doing this work is so satisfying that you won't want to do anything else. And then you will be the example. You will encourage other people. You will influence other people. You will empower other people because you will be the example of the work in motion, in action, living, breathing, walking, dreaming, <laughs> having sex, whatever, everything, everything. It's all together. Law of attraction, laws of universe, Kundalini awakening, the divine feminine, divine, blah, blah, blah. all these tools, they're great. The most important thing is this. Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing about it? <laughs> That's it. Because I want to see you, and I know you want to see me, and the only thing that we want to really see in this world is more people who are awake to what they are, because what we are is pure love. And it's not unicorns and dust. It is fierce. It's fierce. It's true. There is nothing to it that's not true, and it's overwhelming but it's so good. So choose that. Know that there is so much more to you and enjoy this process. Dig in, say yes. The voice that, ah, no, 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 no. What do you want? Why do you want it? Who are you? What are you fucking doing about it? <laughs> I'm, I'm like all riled out about because honestly, there's nothing else for us to do. Nothing else matters before we do this work. And this work will never go away. It will never go away. Like you have a child, the child's never gonna go away. You're gonna have to take care of the child, but you know, you probably want to. You have so much joy in watching this child grow up. So this is the same thing. This is you bringing in yourself, birthing yourself every single day. How are you taking care of that? How are you enjoying the process? What are you learning? What are you deeply, divinely curious about in yourself today? Because those are the mysteries of the universe. They're in here. And if you've ever, ever feel 
like you don't have the answer, that is not you talking. And talk to me and I'll remind you. If you've ever talked to me, you know, I'll tell you. I'll never work with you <laughs> if you tell me that you need me. You don't need me. You need you. If you want me and I want you, that's another thing. But that's the same question to you. Do you actually know that you've got you? Do you feel it in your body? Because if you really know that you've got you, you'll go there. You will go there. You will go there. There is so much more to you. You're so powerful. You're so loved. And me saying this to you is proof. It is not something I planned for weeks and oh my God, this is a strategy to make you. No, this is coming from you to you, okay? So get this, take it in, do something with it. <laughs> Let me know, hashtag replay or right now, what you're going to do about you today and how fiercely you love your own juice. Let's explore that. Throw up the shit, throw up the shit, and then you'll see the juice. The juice is there. <laughs> oh my God, now that I've scared all of you off, that's good. I don't care. I know that I didn't scare you off. I scared off your egos. So, we love the ego because it teaches us. Well, actually, no, we don't love the ego. We respect its role as also part of the creation. It was created by the creator <laughs> for a purpose. We respect the role and we say, it's time to, it's time to answer spirit. Yeah, Morgan, yes, you are. You are stronger. You're not going to be. You are stronger. Your problems are invitations for you to discover how fucking strong you are. Those, are. those are the only things that they actually have to teach you. That's it. It's not, oh, because you weren't good enough before and now you're good. No, it's to show you who you are. So what would God do in this spot right here? What would love do? What would spirit do? That's the question. And there is your answer. This is an invitation to grow and expand and explore and rise. That's it. That's it. An invitation to explore and rise to what you actually are. So beyond anything your mind will ever be able to comprehend. So don't try to comprehend it. Feel it. Sit with it. And if you have any questions, if you want specific tools, DM me. Let me know. That's what I do. I live for this stuff. Like the dark, dirty stuff. Please bring it on. You know why? Because it's not. I mean, it is dark and dirty, but it's not bad. <laughs> it's divine. It's divine. It's beautiful. It's where you discover who you are. It's that. That is you. Go there. Go there. Go there. And know that you're not alone in doing this. And I want to know what happens to you when you're not living your truth, as we say, living your truth. What does that even mean? What does that mean to you? When do you know you're not living your truth? When are you not who you are? What does that feel like? Do you feel it like you're being stifled? Do you have dreams? Do, does everything start dropping around you? Like you're knocking everything over all the time. You just feel, ugh. What is that belief? What is that? How does that manifest? Identify it, right? See it. Everything is happening for you. Everything. God, the universe, spirits, always communicating with you, going like, I want you, I want you, I want you. Come, come home, come home, come back. And you get to decide. This is the beauty of free will. You get to decide. I love you. And I will talk to you later. So let me know in the comments. What are you gonna do about who you are today? What are you letting go of? What are you scared? What are you scared of? What's the shame? Where, where's the fear? What, what is the worry? Let me know. As soon as we start exploring that, that's when you recognize that most of the things that are holding you back are not real. But you have to do the work. There's so much more to you.